Fight two bloodthirsty Gorgons, or run towards two unfriendly-looking armed guards. That is the decision that leads Percy Jackson on the quest of his lifetime. The story begins with Percy running from those t from these two awful Gorgons. The kicker is he's also lost his memory, so he can't really tell the difference between friend or foe. His only motive at the time is to recover his memory and find safety. Percy eventually does find some safety in the Roman demigod camp, Camp Jupiter. There he meets his... Frank and Hazel, his best friends for the next week. Soon after becoming accepted into camp, the leader, Reyna, bestows a quest upon them that, that was told to her by Mars, god of war. The trio must rescue the god of death from Gaia's evil clutches. Thanatos catches souls, Percy said, and deports them into the underworld. Exactly, Nico said, but now Thanatos has been captured and chained up. So if we could free Thanatos, Percy said, then the dead would stay dead. On Percy's quest to, say, to get his memory back, he will meet many enemies that will give their whole life just to stop them. They'll encounter such foes as the tiny spirits that try to drown them in the earth, Polybotus, and his tiny basilisk pets, Phineas, the blind man who almost tempted them into death, bloodthirsty Amazons who tried to take them prisoner, giant Lastrogonians whose size make up for it their lack of smarts, and finally Alconius and his army of shades that guarded Thanatos until death. However, there were also many good things that the gang met on their journey. They met the rainbow goddess and small, at the small store called Raffle, the extremely smart harpy named Ella who helped them a lot, Queen Hyla, uh, Reina's sister and queen of the Amazons, who is act actually very helpful, and finally Hazel's uh, pride, Arian, who carried the heroes through their last stretch of journey. At the beginning of the story, Percy had no idea of his of the quest or of the camp in general. It was all thanks to when he met Juno, the queen of the gods. She was the one who told Percy to continue to the camp. Her motive is unclear at first, but later in the story we find that she was the one who took his memory. Eight months, Percy said. You stole eight months of my life for a quest that took one week. Why now, Juno said. Don't get testy. If we are to defeat Gaia, our plans must be timed perfectly. Firstly, first I needed Jason and his friends to free me from my prison, and I needed you to protect the Romans in their time of need. Soon I'll have you and Jason reunite to stop Gaia once and for all. Juno's motives were unclear, were, were good, but she made a bad decision to not inform Percy or Jason of her plan. She, she's just lucky that they went along with what was planned.